I feel so nervous, but I'm also so excited to reveal this whole collection to you guys. Like, I don't even know where to begin, but you saw the title correctly. We are back. Odin's Eye Legendary Diversa Collection with me, Tina, and Annette. I'm so excited to reveal my Spring Dragon series with you. There is lip colors in here. We have a new palette. Like, it's so crazy. And it's also the Year of the Dragon as well. Like, we're gonna get into it like there's just so much to cover today I'm gonna show you the palette my lip colors these shade names and why I picked everything that I did I'm also gonna have a Tina and Annette's videos down below as well where they share their palette so Tina is back with Earthward and Annette is back with Mighty Monster their palettes are so pretty I cannot wait to show you the looks and everything but their videos will be linked down below where they go in detail about their collections and today we are gonna talk about about my specific collection spring dragon where do we even start but I think before we talk about the collection you guys are probably wondering the pricing and the launch time so I will get that out of the way first and then we can start yapping away <laughs> about the collection so I'm just gonna read it off my phone so I get all the details correct I am just gonna round up the prices but I'm gonna leave all the info in my description so you guys can see that as well but our palettes are going to be around 37 US dollars each. It is a 12 pan palette. And then us three, we all have three lip colors each. These are mine. They're so pretty. But these are $13.90 individually. And we also do have some free gifts. So it depends on what you are purchasing and how much you are purchasing. So we do have a little keychain, a magnet, and then we also have the silk scarf. So there are three different types of free gifts that you can get. And let me share how you can get these. So there is going to be a full collection bundle where you can purchase all three palettes and all nine lip colors together for around $201 and with this full collection you will receive all of the free gifts so you'll get three magnets three keychains and three scarves corresponding to each series if that makes sense and then there's also going to be like individual bundles so there's going to be the spring dragon bundle where you can get my palette and my three lip colors this is going to go for around $71 and then Tina and Nett will have their own individual bundles as well and if you do purchase a bundle you will receive two random gifts corresponding to the series that you are purchasing and then finally if you are just purchasing an individual palette you will receive a one random gift corresponding to the series you are purchasing so hopefully that makes a bit of sense the way I explained it but again all the info will be in the description and then for the official release we are launching on February 14th Valentine's Day at 4 p.m. Central European time, which is also 7 a.m. PST. And technically, it's 4 a.m. for me here in New Zealand. So as you are watching this video, I'm like half awake in my bed, probably reading all your comments. So leave me like a good morning message or something. I don't know, but I will be awake, ready for launch. I'm super, super excited. First, I kind of want to talk about the like backstory and how this kind of came to be again. I am going to leave timestamps on today's video just in case you don't really care too much about the backstory, but I just want to share everything with you, you know? So let's rewind back to January 2023. We are approaching the year of the rabbit and I knew that in 2024 we will be going into the year of the dragon. And back in 2021 when Red Dragon sold out, I was getting messages, is there a way to restock? And I was just seeing a lot of comments, like even to Till this day I still get comments about it. So I just asked Odin's Eye like, hey, is there any way we could bring Red Dragon back for Lunar New Year next year? Just like a small quantity. Like I wasn't even thinking about doing another collection. So I just told myself, you know, just give them an email, see what they say. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, that's fine. But you know, I wanted to just shoot my shot and you know, that's me telling you guys shoot your shot. You never know what's going to happen. The worst thing that could happen is you get rejected. The best thing that could happen is <laughs> Spring Dragon. And then long story short, they were like, yes, let's do it. But we want to do a new collection. We want to do the Legendary Diversa collection again. So Tina and Annette's palettes has nothing to do with Lunar New Year. It's just strictly my palette that's launching around February. 
in time for Lunar New Year, in time for the other dragon. So I know it's not Red Dragon. I think Red Dragon was just a classic, like warm, fiery palette, and I still love it to this day. And honestly, Spring Dragon is the opposite of it, but I love Spring Dragon so much, and I think the way that these two palettes, they just showcase me. When Red Dragon released in 2021, I was obsessed with like warm tone and really intense makeup, which Red Dragon is that intensity fall autumn palette. But now, now fast forward into 2024, I love my cool tones, I love my pink spring dragon, really represents my makeup style now and I think the contrast of them two, it's just so fun and I just love holding these two up together like it's literally my little babies. I think it's really funny that like now I have two dragon palettes under my name and I'm not even in the year of the dragon. I am in the year of the rat which is like almost the opposite of a drag, like I just snowboarded into this and now I have two dragon palettes under my name. So you could think I'm born in 2000 or in 88, up to you. So with that being said, let me introduce you to the palette first. This is Spring Dragon. The Odin's Eye team did such an amazing job with the artwork once again. With the details of the dragon and the plum blossoms, I think it's just so pretty and I love all of the colors sprinkled throughout it. So it's in the same palette style as Red Dragon, so it does have a sleeve that you take off and then it opens up like a book. So on the left hand side you have a little mirror Mirror. We have the dragon claw detail then, also my signature. Like my name is all over this palette and it's just so surreal honestly. So in Spring Dragon there are seven mattes and five shimmers, kind of similar to my Red Dragon palette. You guys know me, I like to have more mattes in my palette over shimmers. And the way I would describe the color story is just springtime pastels and I just love how this palette turned out. I love all of the colors and I think with Odin's eye selection with their eyeshadows, I think they do such an amazing job with like darker and brighter colors, but I feel like they don't have like a core pastel palette. On the top of my head, I would say maybe their Alva 2 palette was probably the closest pastel palette, but I would say even so, Alva 2 is still quite bright. So I wanted to bring you like a pastel, girly, fairy-like palette. With that being said, let's just talk about the shades. I'm really excited about the shades. The first shade in the palette is called Twin, and this translates to spring season in Chinese. But this is the perfect minty green pastel color. I think Twin was definitely the shade that was a bit hard for me to finalize because I didn't want it to be like a mint blue, like a Tiffany blue. I really wanted this to have like a strong minty green underbase, and I think Twin is that color. Like she's that girl. And with pastel Pastels, I know that it's going to translate differently on a lot of different skin tones So I just want to shout out my friend Simone She helped me so much because she came over spent like a few hours in my room just like Swatching and swatching on her eyes and then rubbing it off and then swatching again Because I really wanted to see what the colors would look like on a deeper complexion So I asked her how she would describe her skin tone and she described it to be a deeper tan So a lot of the samples that I had initially for Spring Dragon after seeing it, how it looked on her and how she felt about them, I did actually change a lot of it. And I know I can't please everyone because at the end of the day, pastels is going to translate different on everyone. But I want to try my best to make it more inclusive for everyone. So yeah, I really just wanted to shout out my friend Simone for helping me out. Let's move on to the next color. We have Moss. Moss is so beautiful, guys. It's probably one of my favorite shades in the palette. And I'm probably going to say that about a lot of the colors, but Moss is that beautiful beautiful light lime green metallic shadow. It's super intense. A lot of micro glitters in there. So, so pretty. The intensity on this is absolutely stunning. Then next in the palette, we have a Blossom. I do want to note though, me and Tina, we actually have three shade names that are the same. Just to let you know, our shades are completely different. I totally get how we could have came out with these same shade names because her palette is Earth Wood and mine is Spring Dragon and it is the year of the wood dragon which I kind of forgot to say that so that's how like the whole inspo of spring dragon came to be is that it is the year of the wood dragon but I didn't want to do like a wood 
dragon palette where it would be like browns and greens because that wouldn't be really speaking to my personal style. I wanted to do like a play off that and do something more like nature, pastels, plum blossoms and that's how we landed on spring dragon. But to talk about my blossom, this one has the Odin's Eye embossment on it and this is going to be a shade that I feel like you'll probably use a lot if you are just strictly using this palette only. It's the perfect like bright fuchsia Barbie pink and you know Odin's Eye mattes, they blend out so nicely, so pigmented. So blossom is just like a go-to shade of mine. Then we have a seedling which has the dragon embossment on it and this is just the perfect pastel yellow. This is going to be great for a transition or to blend out the outer edges or just adding a bit more color within a look. And another side note guys, I should have planned this video a little bit better, but side note, when I was thinking of Red Dragon, I had such a strong color story I wanted to do. I wanted it to be strictly mint green, pink, and yellow, like that color story to me screams spring but I quickly realized especially after talking to my friend Simone and seeing how the colors showed up on her having a three-way color story for a 12 pen palette it just wasn't giving diversity like you weren't gonna get a lot of looks out of it so I did sprinkle in more colors to make it more like a pastel palette and honestly I'm glad I did because I think this the selection is a pretty good pastel selection. But anyway, on to the next shade. We next have the shade Plum. So we have Plum Blossom. Plum Blossom on the cover. So Plum is, okay, I think it's going to be another favorite shade. So Plum has a really strong like purple, pink, violet flip, but also you see a bit of gold in there as well. Like this has such a unique flip to it and very metallic, like high shine, that intensity that we love. Then we come onto the shade Long, which translates to dragon in Chinese. And this one's a little bit different. So this is more of a satin finish. So it's not going to be as intense as moss or plum that I just showed you previously. This one is going to have more of like a glisten look to it. And Long in the pan, it definitely looks a little bit more gold, but translated on the eyes, I would say it kind kind of has a more pinkish flip to it. It's sort of like pink and gold, like a champagne pink. It's so, so pretty and I wanted this color specifically for my inner corners and my egg yolk cell to highlight because for my inner corners and egg yolk cell, I like something a little bit more satin-like where the reflect is high shine and pearlescent and not too much glitter. So that's why I picked out this shade long because it's just perfect for that, I feel like. It's seriously such a pretty color. Then we come on to Petal. I feel like Petal was just meant for this palette because when you see it in the pan, you think of it like a hot fuchsia pink, which it is. That base is definitely there. But once it's on the eyes and once it is swatched, it has so much green glitter. So it's like a green and pink shadow, which is so perfect for this palette, I feel. The little green glitters just sparkle so much. It kind of almost turns blue in some directions. It's it's a very, very pretty color as well, which I love. Now we have the shade Hua, which translates to flower or blossom. And Hua actually sounds like my dad's name. It's just nice because in the same location in my Red Dragon palette, it's the shade Yin. And Yin is like, it's like my mom's middle name, like part of her first name, but essentially like in the same location, I have Hua, my dad, and then Yin, my mom. It wasn't intentional to put Hua there and then Yin there. Like I literally just like realized that today. Anyway, Hua is your go-to pastel lavender. Like it's the perfect tone of lavender as well. And I feel like it's also going to be a go-to transitional shadow to have. But then next up we have Flora. This will have the Dragon Claw embossment on it. Flora was one of the first shades I knew I wanted to have in this palette. I definitely could have made Flora a little bit more pastel pink, but I want it to be a bit more of like a muted neutral pink because I have a lot of friends who don't wear a lot of color in their makeup, but I still wanted them to still use this palette. Even with Red Dragon, like even if you are grabbing one shade from the palette, like I want it to be a palette that you are grabbing towards. And Flora, for example, like my eye look today, I have Flora, Dew, and Wood for this eye look, and you wouldn't think it's from like a pastel palette. You would think it's from from like a neutral pink palette, right? This is like probably my go-to everyday look that I will get out of a Spring Dragon. And that's my whole intention with Flora is that it's going to be that muted pink transitional shadow that you can make a little bit more cooler 
and neutral tone for like an everyday eye look like you don't have to go all out pastel vibes when you're using this palette you can do something a little bit more soft glam like what I have on today but then let's move on to rain which has the flower and heart embossment on it and in comparison to flora rain was actually one of the last colors I finalized and I added in because like I mentioned I had a vision of the color story and blue wasn't in it but I'm so glad I added rain because I think it just adds so much more to the palette like there's just so much more you can do with it now that there's this blue and I think it just completely this pastel palette like how can you have a pastel palette without blue right again it could have been a little bit lighter but I wanted to be a little bit more mid-tone while still keeping that pastelness to it and it literally is so pretty and then we come on to dew dew was a color that I knew like flora I just knew I wanted in this palette dew is like the most perfect eyeshadow topper because it has so much like silver micro glitters in it the way it reflects is so pretty but you can wear it on its own as an inner corner highlight and it's really pretty as well again that's what's on my eyes right now and my whole vision of my placement is that when you cover this palette in this little corner here you have this like little trio and I feel like this little trio here is very wearable and it's the look that I'm currently wearing right now on my eyes and it's been my go-to so when you look at this palette yes it's fun and it's bright but also you can make a cool neutral look out of it and it's super pretty as well out of all the metallics this one would have to be my go-to like I use this all the time do was a color that I was thinking of for like my friends because if they are just using their other like neutral palettes they can still come up to my spring dragon palette take do for the inner corner or just a little like eyeshadow topper all over the lid it's super pretty and it's just so versatile like with any kind of eye look whether you are a soft girl clean girl cut crease girl all the girls I feel like you will use do and you will love it and then last and finally in the palette we have the shade of wood and this is your cooler tone brown if I was to compare it to claw from red dragon claw and red dragon is a little bit lighter and more warmer chocolate brown whereas wood is like more rich and definitely cooler tone and darker and I just had to add a brown in here just to smudge out your liner or to deepen out any eye look I just felt like it was necessary so wood is there also I forgot to mention just a small little detail but the texture on our palettes now is in a soft matte whereas our first palettes was in that grainy texture so all of Odin's eyes and newer palettes are in this like soft matte now where a lot of the old the palettes was in that grainy texture so just so you know there is a slight difference there but now let's talk about the lip colors guys this is so exciting I never thought I would have like my own lip colors that has like my name on the packaging and everything this is seriously so exciting so all of us have three lip colors each I'm the only one that came out with a matte color for me I chose to have one matte and a two gloss and this is the outer packaging I think it's so so pretty and all of these shade names for my lip colors are based off flowers. Here is the actual component. I love this colorway. Again, this was like the main color story that I initially wanted for my palette. But I just think it screams spring with the yellow, mint green, and pink. I just love how this looks. And again, it has like my name on it. It has my signature on it, you guys. Like that is crazy. But to talk about the lip colors, let's start off with the matte shade, which is the shade that I'm currently wearing wearing on my lips right now. This shade is called Two Lips and I guess another side note, the reason why I called it Two Lips not Two Lip because one of my favorite singers, his name is Dept, he's like an indie Korean R&B artist and he has a song where it goes like, you are my two lip between our two lips. Do you get it? Like Two Lip, Two Lips. I love songs that have wordplay in it and I just love that and because this was a lip color two lips two lip it just made sense to me but anyway here is the shade two lips when they told me we could make lip colors I already knew I wanted like a bright fuchsia pink because this is a color that I wear literally all the time I feel like this color just brightens up my face and I think paired with spring dragon the palette it just pairs so perfectly I will say though for best application I will just apply a little bit on my lip and then use a 
brush to diffuse and blend that out. Then for my glosses, I kind of picked these two shades out to be worn together. You could obviously wear it like separately and the beautiful as well, but I was imagining like a pretty gradient lip with these two glosses. So first we have the shade Buttercup and this is a really pretty peachy coral shade. Again, it's going to match really well with the colors in Spring Dragon and it's just like an everyday peachy lip color that I feel like everybody would enjoy. And then for my last shade, Dahlia, I knew that I wanted a red gloss, like 100% a red gloss and this is it. This on its own is going to give your lips like a very juicy look, like it's so pretty but so natural at the same time. But the way I was thinking is that you would wear Buttercup as the base, like all over your lips and then you go in with Dahlia at the center and you will automatically get that like a K-pop idol juicy glossy lip look and that is like a combo right there. Personally, I don't wear glosses that frequently. I am a matte lip gal but when I want to wear a gloss, like you bet I'm wearing this combo. Like this combo together, perfection. Dahlia, my sample Dahlia, it's literally like halfway done. Like I was wearing it so much all the time like behind the scenes maybe even in some videos as well all three i just feel like is very me like when you see the colors you'll be like oh yeah that is something judy would wear but you guys with that being said i feel a little bit better now like i feel like i can talk a little bit more now that i've gotten everything out to you guys that is my spring dragon collection this just feels so crazy like Oh, I can't believe I got the chance to work with Odin's Eye again for round two. Thank you so much to Odin's Eye for this opportunity. Thank you to you guys for supporting the first collection, for supporting me, because if not for your support, like, we would not get another opportunity to do this. So, thank you so much, guys. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And just know I put a lot of thought behind everything. Whether you guys are purchasing this collection or not, you just watching this video means so, so much. So, thank you so much in advance. Affiliate codes won't be working on this collection but if you want to purchase anything else on the site along with the collection it will work on those products so if you want to use my code judy at checkout that will save you a little bit of money there so yeah guys i think that's everything i had to say for this launch i mean if you have any questions if you have any requests on videos or looks please leave them down below in the comments my next video i'm going to show you three looks using the palette and the video after that will be my video on a tina and annette palette and then also over on my tiktok on Instagram I'll be doing a lot of looks there that I'll repost onto shorts so there'll be just like a lot of content a lot of inspo everywhere I'll be reposting on my stories so yeah be sure to follow me on Instagram and everything but I just want to thank you guys again truly so much for watching just showing interest in this thank you for giving me the space to be a representation in the makeup industry like having a collection to celebrate the year of the dragon for Lunar New Year like it it's very impactful for me, you know, like it means a lot. So thank you guys so much for your support constantly. I think this is a really great way to start off the year. Again, all of the info will be in my description. I feel like I just got to keep saying thank you because that's all I'm feeling is just thank you. I love you guys so, so much. And with that being said, like I don't want to leave, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.